So the year just started again and I'm excited to be back making videos. I'm in my city of Joss. It's a nice and cold January with the sun warming up my face, you know. Stumbled upon this story online about some students of the University of Joss who worked on a car as their final year project and I was able to get in touch with the leader of their team. So today I'm visiting University of Joss to check out their car talk to them, you know, see what this car is all about. Let's go to University of Joss. I'm a student of the University of Jos, Mechanical Engineering Department. I'm a final year student and this is our final year project. My name is Duri Cynthia Chinoso. Okay, Allah she become blessing. Alison Wisdom Ikenna. Tony Austin. Damo Jeremiah James. Nemzu Paul Johnson. A uh, student of Mechanical Engineering, University of Jos, 500 level. These are final year projects which we embarked on as a team. What really inspired me to embark on a project like this is my love and passion for the field. I saw this as an opportunity also to get the right people, the right team members that will be able to accomplish something great like this. And my, one of the roles I get to play here is based on the material selections. My major role in this project, in achieving this project, was the exterior aspect, bringing out the beauty as you can see here. What I actually did on the car was making of the car body. It has the molding right from layering the fibers and then bringing out the shell of the body shell and then joining the body into a single unibody and then also joining it to the chassis frame that was constructed. I carried out the concept designs for the car body and also the chassis. We built the chassis from scratch with local source materials and also we built the body. So we got all that from the base plan of the project, which was from the concept designs, which I did. The car is a rear wheel drive um, with a Bajaj engine, which is um, one cylinder, and it's just 20 horsepower. And it's a sports car actually, but we used a little engine because that was what we could afford as students. And due to the design considerations, we built this car on the basis of lightweight. So the engine strength is still enough to power the car. And the body is made up of fiberglass. We use epoxy and matrices with um, accelerator and some other chemicals to get the body. And we did the chassis with uh, using mild steel pipes, one inch pipes. We welded we welded the pipes locally in the workshop. We fabricated the wheel, the, the steering knuckles, and the, we fabricated the gearbox, which helped us convert the, the gear settings. Since the Bajaj engine, mostly Bajaj is used in bikes, but we, we converted it and fabricated a gearbox that will allow us to have a gear stick and be controlled like a car. Uh, my name is Engineer Dr. Ede Godwin. I'm the project coordinator for the Department of Mechanical Engineering, University of Joss. My name is Engineer Adesami Adegoki. I am the supervisor to the project. My initial reaction uh, was that the development of an automobile is not an easy job. Being a fan of cars, I was like, wow, I think I love this project, but I can tell you it won't be easy. 
because the reason why I say it too easy is because you don't find design of cars in textbooks because it's patent to the companies so they don't release their secrets so it means that you have to apply the knowledge from the classroom so if they actually intend to achieve it they must put in their maximum effort as an engineer and somebody who has worked in the automobile industry i know what it takes to develop an automobile they had to put in a hundred and ten percent if possible to achieve so today i am so elated that they were able to achieve from the design from the concept to the design to the development and to the testing of the automobile i am so elated because my students are putting so much work and i am i am happy with them wow i think when they drove the car into the school yesterday i was like wow this is just this is interesting you know i was so proud you know of them and they have done really a great job well, benny automobile in the person of jerry malo he inspired us in so many ways like he exposed us to a lot of things and during that 300 level we went for a conference he organized and during that conference he exposed us to a lot of things and he showed us some of his works and that was where we picked interest and we decided to go for our CS1. Jerry Isaac Malou, um, the current leader at Benny Automobile. From time to time, there are engineering um, talks we do around the state and after this particular one, um, a group of engineering students from the University of Jos approached me and showed their interest to do their internship at Benny Automobile. It was an, a welcome thing as they showed a certain level of seriousness and commitment. And after their internship, they decided they wanted to build a car. I and my team did our best to support them in the project to see that they learn the knowledge, not just doing it, not just us doing it for them, but if we are saying they should use this material, we do our best to explain why they need to use this material and we make sure that they do it themselves. At the end of it, they were successfully able to build a car prototype and um, it was a happy beginning for me, for them. Um, that's the way I see it. I just hope that they would continue developing and building on that foundation. We had a budget, but the budget we started with didn't really take us that far due to the rate of inflation in the country, like the cost of materials just shoot. So we tried our best and the company, that's Benny Automobile, that was where we did the practical work. They really tried for us. I'm um, engineer Kamtu Peter Moar, the current coordinator, mechanical engineering department. What we try to put across to our students in the current generation, it's not just the theoretical aspect. So when this came up, we were excited. We put up ourselves together. We know we have given them the basis. That's the theoretical, the theory aspect of it, of which not car, if they feel they can develop, uh, they can fly an aeroplane, they have the knowledge. Professor Danjuma Danshik Dajap, the current Dean, Faculty of Engineering, University of Jos. And as you're aware, this faculty was set up in 2014. So we are barely about seven years old. And uh, we qualify as one of the youngest uh, engineering faculties in the Nigerian university system. These are just but a uh, few of some of the innovative projects that are being undertaken by some of our undergraduates. And this is to underscore the fact that uh, as a young faculty, we understand where we're coming from, you know, being disadvantaged in terms of uh, infrastructure, other facilities that should make mature faculties. But we, having that behind our mind, uh, decided to ensure that the quality of curriculum delivery uh, in the faculty, though being young, is such that uh, will expose our students and give them entry-level competencies into the profession. And uh, that 
is what is manifested in what you have seen. The thing is, one of our biggest, one of our biggest challenges is funding. That is one. And another thing is getting those materials. And thirdly was the timing. Because it's a school work, you know, we couldn't just relax and because there are tries and errors, our first time and those errors, we want to try to fix this, we want to try to do this. So those were our, our challenges. When we started the project, I told most of my colleagues, I said, this will take us places. When we finished this, I told them that by God's grace, this year, I want us to make either an electrical car or a solar powered car. If we had more time, we think that we can actually do something more better of. The, the name of the car is Aspira Espo, and we got the name, there are French names actually. Aspira stands for strive, like to strive, and Expo means hope. So we're striving because we believe there's hope for Africa to meet up with the world in terms of automobile technology. So I actually see myself pursuing a career in the automotive industry in the future. <laughs>